welcome back to another episode of Sunday Cooking with Mom and Me. Today, we're preparing French toast. Come on in, we'll show you how we do it. Okay, here is our loaf of bread. You can find loaf bread, hopefully at your local bakery. I believe I got this one from Sam's. But anyway, come on in, I'll show you what we're going to do first. I'm going to cut one inch slices, about one inch slices. I have six slices that I'm going to cut. Okay. Now I'm going to prepare my batter. Let's move that aside. All right, first we're going to start with two eggs. I'm going to whisk these eggs. Add one cup of whole milk. You can use heavy cream. I've used heavy cream before as well, and it works wonderfully. Now we're going to add in two teaspoons of ground cinnamon. If you don't want that much cinnamon, you can add less. I just like a lot of cinnamon in mine. I have a half teaspoon of nutmeg. A fourth cup of light brown sugar. I guess if you want, if you prefer brown, darker brown sugar, you can. But I'm using light brown. I have two teaspoons of vanilla paste. You can use vanilla extract if you prefer. It works just as well. And then finally, I'm going to add in two tablespoons of melted butter and it has cooled off this room temperature you don't want to cook the eggs all right right here I have a buttered casserole dish that's where I'm going to place my bread you're going to dip the French bread into the butter mixture now look you can use if you want to, you can use tongs to do this, or you can just use your hands. It doesn't matter. What you want to do is just saturate that bread. And then try to uh, get rid of some of the excess dripping and place it in your baking dish. Try to saturate your bread. Soak it but don't soak it too long. You don't want your bread to fall apart. You can make more than six slices. I'm only going to do six. So you can use this batter for more if you like. You can probably get at least eight to 10 slices. Okay, there you have it. So this will go in a preheated oven set at 375 degrees for about 30 minutes. After 10 to 15 minutes, you want to flip your toast. Okay, the fresh toast has been cooking for 15 minutes. I'm going to go ahead and flip these over. Okay. Let these cook for another 15 minutes on the opposite side. Oven baked French toast. Now I cook mine for 32 minutes because once I flip them to the opposite side from which I started, uh, they didn't look brown enough for me. So I, um, I would say allow at least 16 minutes on each side at 375 degrees. And we're gonna plate these up. Now you can have as many as you want, but I'm going to start with two. And I'm going to use some strawberries on top. Now I made these strawberries a couple of days ago. All you have to do is slice strawberries after you've washed them, of course, and just put maybe a half a cup of sugar. 
I probably use about half a pint and just let them soak overnight and they create their own syrup. So you can put some strawberries on some if you like. I'm gonna leave one uh, without strawberries so you can see it a little bit better. Now I'm going to coat the top with some powdered sugar. Then I'm going to drizzle some syrup over the top. Don't need a whole lot because you already have the strawberries that has a little bit of sugar. All right, let's give this a taste. Let's start with the strawberries. See the inside of it? Let's go ahead and give it a taste. It's good. A little taste of vanilla bean, the cinnamon and the nutmeg, strawberries. Enjoy.